we will continue our discussion with professor krishna mohan on the placement strategy of shiva shivani institute of management sir alumni uh, are the spokespersons of uh, i mean if I, if i may call it yeah. are the uh, spokespersons of a particular institute i exactly. mean what role does uh, alumni of uh, shiva shivani institute play uh, in the placements or uh, for bringing uh, i mean a name to the institute yes sir excellent question because alumni will make or break you know you said faculty faculty members are fine fine they are yes, also the good one one set of stakeholders but the real stakeholder of a college is the student because the student's identity will never change all through his life mm -hmm. because he would be identified as an alumni of an x institute and in our case it's shivani institute of management so what my because if you see the admissions admission process i can i can guarantee that more than 50% of the students which are joining this college they are referrals by most of our alumni because the alumni they had an ex excellent experience of 2 years in the campus both in terms of the life in the campus and also the kind of learning kind of skills they have acquired so they would suggest anybody in whom they are interested to come and have the same experience here so in the admission process definitely my alumni they play a very very vital role as far as the placements are concerned you see uh, we started our b school in 1992 and it's almost 20 years so 20 years you can expect close to 2000 2500 people are you know spread across the country across the world if not so uh, what's happening you know we are inviting these people to the campus on various occasions mm -hmm. um, we we sometimes we invite them as guest speakers we invite them as uh, uh, the external examiners to examine the students to evaluate the students performance at various levels so in this process what's happening Uh, these would people would definitely understand the quality of their own juniors right and they would tend to recommend their own organizations for empaneling this institute in these organizations and also they invite their hr executives to visit our organizations for placements right that is as far as placements are concerned okay and as far as um, the mentoring is concerned some of my seniors some of the senior students of the college they are interested to identify or pick choose a couple of students in the campus and they would ready to mentor them Okay, so there are multiple advantages. Uh, we are very fortunate that our alumni is the strength of our college. Okay. So you mentioned about uh, the alumni role of role in placements. Sir. But otherwise, what is the general strategy uh, of the institute in terms? I mean, uh, with respect to the placements, what is the general strategy? How 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 do you prepare yourself? Sir. I mean, do you uh, make tie-ups or MOUs or uh, what is the strategy of the SSIM? We prefer to have tie-ups in a long-term association with the organizations. To name a few, we have a joint certification program with uh, HDFC Bank. Okay. And we have a uh, our, our campus is uh, recognized as the accredited campus for Deloitte. Mm -hmm. What I mean to say now, if these organizations want to uh, place the students, if there is a requirement, the first choice would be. their partners you know we call these kind of alliances as strategic alliances and a couple of companies are also coming forward yesterday a company called colon has come and mm -hmm. colon is interested to have a tie up and icici bank i had a good news from the hr manager that they are interested to have a tie up with us so any today the getting human resources is not a big deal because we always talk about india being a very young country mm -hmm. but what about the right kind of human resources Correct. fine right kind of hum human resources with minimum effort i should be able to source so these kind of type uh, types are really useful to the organizations also mm -hmm. so we are also looking forward for many more because uh, so to say close to 100 150 organizations would definitely visit our campus every year because the intake itself is 480 mm -hmm. it's a huge uh, set of students available there yes, and you don't find any difference in quality in uh, say for example Uh, everybody is really good in his own uh, respective functional specialization yes, sir so how should a uh, student prepare himself for a placement the placement would be on campus or off campus how should uh, a student uh, prepare himself uh, preparation starts from the day one mm -hmm. we suggest the student to write his own success story okay every day we suggest the student to write his own success story at the end of the day collate it so that you have got your own screen to play to narrate before your recruiter mm -hmm. by the time he asks a question that talk to me about yourself for some time mm -hmm. tell me about yourself this is a typical question any student uh, would be facing in any placement uh, situation so that's what number 2 uh, we also train the students in um, the group discussion and uh, personal interview uh, scenarios we train them we expose them to various uh, personal interview situations like organizing um, what do you call the term and viva boss yeah for every at the end of every term 
they take the examinations and it's followed by something called viva voce wherein we invite the experts from the industry we take their suggestions we take their uh, what do you call observations on the students mm -hmm. and we have a personality development cell we have also tie ups with uh, some professional agencies to train my students to make them employable mm -hmm. because our the, the secret of our institute is we make them employable we never tell them that look you you should get a job we always tell them that you know there should be more than a company which is waiting for you to come and join okay. because if that kind of mindset is inculcated in the young minds i think the approach differs right from the day one okay sir sir uh, shiva shivani institute of management has completed 20 years it yeah. started in 1992 yes. I mean, can you list some of the prominent success stories of uh, the institute success is uh, the kind of institution the organizations uh, lining up for taking the students okay sir. that is one and uh, the faculty members that you find we are all here we are very happy to be here because that itself is a success because uh, this has become uh, a dream employer for the uh, faculty the members and they, they found that you know the uh, employee empowerment is very good in this organization and uh, you have the flexibility suppose if i want to introduce a course new course you know the, i can just put up a proposal so this kind of freedom is given in this organization okay. so that's really good and uh, to mark a few more uh, success stories yes our students have done fairly well in the bloomberg aptitude test mm -hmm. they have even crossed the uh, world average mm -hmm. more than the world average they have uh, done in the we have a course called uh, banking insurance finance and allied services and they have done exceptionally well okay. and our triple specialization course has become a flagship course of our college mm -hmm. and tps has become uh, a, a a brand by itself and mm. you find many b schools today coming up with you know pgdm tps kind of a okay. title okay. so we can say that we have really designed the title and bifus is another program which we created in our college and you know many other institutes have followed us so we can, to be the leader in this particular process yes mm. we can say that you know this is the greatest success any business school would have it sir uh, corporate social responsibility is the buzzword of uh, uh, today's generation in corporations sir. i mean in what way ssim takes up uh, the social responsibility sir um, yeah we are uh, very much into the social responsibility aspect of our institute mm -hmm. uh, the students they visit the orphanages they visit uh, uh, the backward areas and they spend a lot of time with the students there and they try to share some good things with the students and also Uh, they go to the orphanages and uh, they, they, they take up many many activities in uh, various schools we conduct competitions in the schools nearby so in that way my students are exposed to the realities of the society and this year you know as an institutional social responsibility uh, our faculty members mm -hmm. uh, are visiting uh, various engineering colleges if you see um, any hr managers comment today they say that only 5% of the students are employable correct because we have good many engineering colleges around with good many professional colleges around and people still talk about you know students not being employable mm -hmm. so mostly they talk about the communication skills and they talk about their attitudinal aspects they talk about uh, facing the realities of life so what our faculty members are doing we are sending our open uh, uh, offer to various uh, engineering colleges uh, close to i think uh, 25 to 30 engineering colleges uh, a set of 10 to 15 faculty members have uh, visited mm -hmm. and uh, they shared with the students and how to really design their career how to design the career we, we are not worried about you know <coughs> students joining our, our institute you know in the process if they feel that you know we are delivering the best mm -hmm. if they come and join our institute they are welcome okay. but you know in the in this process what we are trying to do is tell the students that hey there is something called your own career you mm -hmm. need to build your own brand and you need to really be saleable you need to be employable mm -hmm. uh, now the students are more worried about scoring the marks you know scoring the marks is one aspect and scoring the marks and also communicating that i can do so i don't say that you know my one lecture in a college is going to really bring a change mm -hmm. but at least that sows the seed of transformation in these young minds as to what is to be done i think somebody has come from shiva shivani and talked about something uh, and he is talking about me only Mm. is it making any sense i think that would be a great social responsibility of my institute and we are we are far far successful and we are getting lot of invitations from various uh, colleges to come forward and uh, deliver this kind of lectures and this is one i feel that the great responsibility that we are uh, we are we are demonstrating by sending our uh, senior faculty members to these colleges and talking to the students about what you want to become mm -hmm. what is your objective of life this is something uh, unique of its own nature 
Sir, can you uh, please give us a snapshot of uh, the two-year journey a student goes through in your institute? Yeah. Now, as I told you, the two years of stay in the campus is a good experience to the student uh, in many, many uh, facets. You know, number one, we have students from Pan-India. We have mm -hmm. students from all over the country. So, the student has the opportunity to learn all the languages of the country if he is really interested. Mm -hmm. So, we would also prefer that, you know, we know students from the same state stay together in the hostel. Uh -huh. Because that definitely forces a person to learn, learn the new language. The foreign language is the language of his own country, mm -hmm. which belongs to a different state. Correct. So, that is what is happening. And then, uh, if, I, if I may have to explain you right from the day one, there is a program called Spandana. Spandana is a freshers party. We invite the freshers into the Sivashivani family and uh, it's an experience, it's a full day entertainment and uh, we have a lot of praises and this program is entirely designed by the seniors then welcome the juniors. Mm -hmm. So then we have an induction program, then we have the regular classes. So the first term is definitely uh, a period wherein the new uh, comer will have a lot of shocks. Mm -hmm. We will try to uh, ensure that you know that they are comfortable with the environment and also the kind of uh, uh, what do you call journey that is ahead of him or ahead of her. Mm -hmm. So that is one and then uh, we have as I told you the Sammelan, mm -hmm. the Samanvai, these are the programs and we in most of our programs you know our students will take the lead and we have got another uh, three specific uh, activities one is called the company review session. In the very first trimester, a student has to understand a company, an, an organization, an industry. So, he will be giving presentations. Say in a typical class of 60 students, all 60 students would bring the knowledge about 60 different organizations. We believe in the coordinated learning or cooperative learning, wherein each student at the end of the session is aware of 60 different organizations in the country. Okay. And different industries based on the organizations the students have selected. Okay. So, the book review session. We always suggest the student to read a couple of books before he completes his two years of journey, mm -hmm. the PGDM program. So, this actually enables the students to talk about when he is facing the interview. Because most of, most of the interview questions, one of the interview questions would be, what is your pastime activity? Right. Other than you are tweeting, other than you are googling, or in the, other than surfing on the net, they would say, I read. Okay. Reading something has become aligned in uh, today's yeah. scenario. If my student says that I know a couple of books, and it is a mandatory requirement in the process that they would read the book mm -hmm. and review the book. Mm -hmm. So, they would talk about the book at the, at the time of interview. Mm -hmm. So, we would like to make the student as to be as natural as possible. Mm -hmm. And we believe in the content, not in the cosmetic. Okay. We will see that, you know, the real value addition is done at the content level. And the student is uh, talking about himself. He is not preparing. He is only talking about himself. Yes, he is preparing to express what he has done. Uh, that is... Uh Professor Krishna Mohan uh, speaking uh, to KAB television, he mentions the strong alumni basis, the strong alumni base and committed and passionate faculty makes the difference. And apart from that, the innovative ideas like uh, company review, book review as he mentioned, focus more on the content than cosmetic that as he puts it. These are the different things that make Shiva Shivani Institute of Management a unique one and it is no wonder that uh, the institute topped in the placement segment in the entire state in the entire state. So, we really thank uh, uh, Mr. K V S Krishna Mohan the chairman placements Shiva Shivani Institute of Management. Thank you very much sir. Thank you sir.